Hello everyone. Welcome to Young Innovators Astronomy class. Today's session is one of the most important session and last session of this astronomy series. In this session, we shall learn about our place in the universe. Universe as we hear it is the term originated from the word universes, which means all space and time and everything that is in the universe. Universe is huge. It has billions of galaxies. stars nebulas planets etc it is believed that the universe must be 14 billion years old it must have started from a single point called point of singularity it is so called as it contains all that we have in the universe today like galaxies stars nebulae planets including us and everything that we see on our planet universe is so huge that our earth appears like the smallest grain that we can see on earth Everything that we see in the sky is just like looking at a single home in the entire planet. Let us just have a look at how exactly we are placed in the universe. To know how and where we are placed in the universe, we need to know how it originated. First is the point of singularity. It is very small with infinite temperature and pressure. It is believed that it contained all the matter that we have in the universe. Due to increase in temperature and pressure, this small point exploded and all the matter in it expanded. Matter contained in it is million times smaller than the smallest matter that we know in the universe. Million times smaller. Yes, the number sounds big, but the particle is very small. Do you think that we can see it? Absolutely not. As the matter expanded in the universe or space, all these particles started to collide and combine with each other resulting in the formation of the bigger particles like atoms molecules etc these particles further combine to form the matter like gas clouds nebulae stars galaxies etc many galaxies combined together are called as cluster of galaxies name of our galaxy is milky way galaxy which belongs to a group of galaxies called local group which is further located into another cluster of galaxies called virgo galaxies are made up of millions of dust particles nebulae stars planets comets etc all these things are held together by a gravitational force all the galaxies have a black hole at the center which acts as a powerhouse huge collection of gas and dust where stars are born is called as nebula there are thousands of nebula in the galaxy Stars are the huge balls of fire made up of gases and dust which undergo a nuclear fusion reaction. Nuclear fusion reaction is the process in which all the atoms and molecules combine together releasing large amount of heat and light. Example is our sun. Our sun is a star which is mostly made up of hydrogen and helium gas. As the gases fuse with each other it gives out heat and light. All the heat and light that we receive today is due to this reaction. Many such stars are inside the nebula. Like our sun and its system called solar system, most of the stars have its own system which has so many planets, comets, meteors, etc. Many stars too have such planetary systems. A single galaxy has about millions of stars. and we have about billions of galaxies in different shapes and sizes in our observable universe our planet earth is residing in such galaxy called milky way it is spiral in shape out of millions of stars within it we are just a part of one medium mass star called sun out of eight planets we belong to one such planet called earth and inside earth we are on a hemisphere called northern hemisphere and a continent called asia in the country called india and india we are in karnataka and in karnataka we are in bangalore and then you are in your respective home sitting and watching this video right now can you just rewind the order and imagine the same way
it's really going to be very, very far. And it's unimaginable, isn't it? Such small are we, but yet so important in this whole universe. Thank you for watching and enjoying all our Astronomy 2020 series. See you all again in our next series.